there. Welcome to Veripause. I'll kind of show you a little bit about how to get your float going. So this is our south room. We have two float rooms. They're totally identical, just a flip plan of each other. Um, the lights above me are on the motion detector with a five minute delay. So as long as you're moving in here, they'll stay on um, once you get inside the float tank. Five minutes goes by and then they'll shut off. This is not where you get in the float tank. This is where I keep my uh, pump and filter and my cover at night where we keep the salt water in the tank with, but um, that's where I keep the water clean between people. Um, don't go in there, it's just boring and dark. Um, so the first thing you'll do is take a shower right there. You wanna go for lukewarm, not too hot, not too cold. This is shampoo body wash all in one. Definitely use the washcloth. Don't use fingernails when you give yourself a good shampoo and don't scrub real hard with the washcloth. You'll want to make sure to move the product over your body just nice and slow and gentle. Um, and if you can visualize this as your intent, it will help you have a better float. Um, I have 10 people in one day and none of them are floating with the same intent and objective. So let's just say my, my plan is mental focus for this float. So I'm using the washcloth, here we go. Hey arm, all the resources were sent into the brain. Hey leg send everything up to the brain to keep it going sharp, you know, and it, it definitely makes a huge difference in how much you get out of your float. So once your lukewarm shower is finished, then you will come here, dry your face and your ears, and then right over here, you will grab these ear plugs. We've got them right here so you don't forget. One in each ear, they're just little sticky. This is real easy to open. You can take them with you. We throw them away if you leave them in here. They're silicone, kind of like silly putty or Play-Doh. Don't make a snake and try to fit it in your ear. Just use that to cover up the hole over your ear. Um, then you'll step inside the float tank here. And the main thing in the tank is to keep this solution out of your eyes, nose, and mouth because it's not table salt and it's not ocean salt. It tastes really bad. Um, ladies, if you have ever uh, polished your nails and eaten something too soon, it, um, <laughs> It tastes like paint. That's what it tastes like, the solution in there. So anyway, you'll wipe your hands off before you touch your face on these washcloths. We've got to hang it here. And this is the tank. I'll move out of the way so you guys can see. If you want to turn the light on or off, you've got the option of that right here. If you want to turn the music on or off, you've got that option right there. So let's just say that you forgot to wipe your hands off, went on and just gave yourself a big scratch on the nose or something. That solution is gonna drip down into your eyes. It doesn't feel good. Fresh water right here. It will be your best friend ever. Um, this here is a float halo. It doesn't go on your head like this. Um, we're genetically programmed to keep our head above water to survive. So it kind of just gives us a little support from uh, the weight of our head and lifts it up without a whole lot of uh, involvement without feeling bulky or anything like that. So these are really cool. They're made just for float centers. And um, at the end of your float, we will signal that it's time for you to get out by turning the light in there off from our switch in the hallway. So nobody will come in any part of this room while you're in here. Nobody will see you naked at any time. When that light comes on, that's your signal that your float is over. It's time to come over here to the lovely shower and rinse, rinse, rinse as hot as you want. Don't use the shampoo afterwards. Don't use the body wash afterwards. The salt is super moisturizing if you rinse it off all the way. Um, some people ask me, well, what if I don't want it totally dark? We've got you taken care of. We have a little candle right here. You can turn it on and it will provide a little bit of ambiance. So you can close your eyes and see that you're at the spa in Fayetteville and you can open your eyes. I said that wrong, you can close. You can open your eyes and see you're at this spot in Fayetteville, or you can close your eyes and just have total darkness. Um, after you rinse off totally, then dry off. Get dressed, please, before you come back out in the hallway, and have a great day.